With everything to play for, Celtic went into last Friday's game against Dunfermline knowing a win was a necessity to maintain the pressure on Rangers at the top of the league. Celtic started the game meaning business and from a Carlo Amonti throw-in, Celtic's front line heaped the pressure on the Dunfermline defence, which in turn forced them onto the back foot. Dunfermline goalkeeper Greg Patterson rushed his clearance, which fell nicely to the feet of Kevin Cawley, and with a cool head and quick feet, manoeuvred into position to fire a shot past the helpless goalkeeper. Any pre-match nerves put to bed with an excellent start for Celtic with only two minutes on the clock. Celtic quickly found themselves two up when eight minutes later, after a long ball from Paul Cardis left Killian Sheridan chasing the ball down the right flank. With a cheeky lob over the Dunfermline defender and a superb hit on the volley, there was no doubt where the ball would end up. Once again, the Irish Youth International receiving all the plaudits for another superb finish. Celtic 2, Dunfermline 0 with only 10 minutes played. Celtic won't finish there, and much like the opening goal, the Dunfermline defence were forced to defend. Keeper Greg Patterson again forcing to rush his clearance, and with the Celtic midfield ready to pounce, Mark Miller picked the ball up, and from 25 yards drilled an unstoppable shot high into the top corner. It was another spectacular effort from the Celtic midfielder, who was this week named in the Scotland under-19 squad. With half-time only minutes away, Celtic put the game beyond any doubt when they scored their fourth goal. From a throw-in, the ball eventually broke to Carlo Monte, who in turn fed Graham Carey down the left flank. His ball in field found an unmarked Kevin Cawley, who drilled a low shot past Patterson. It was another excellent finish from Cawley, who scored his second goal of the game, not even half-time yet, and Celtic 4-0 up. Mark Miller almost made it 5-0 when he was presented with an opportunity to lob the ball into an empty net. But his effort just creeped over the bar after the ball broke to him on the 18-yard box. Celtic skipper Paul Cardis is always ready to make himself available to his teammates when an excellent supporting run saw the ball break to him off a Dunfermline defender. With a little more composure, his shot might have found the back of the net. Dunfermline did score a mere consolation when a Celtic throw-in broke to a Dunfermline attacker who played a long ball forward to the feet of Callum Smith. With three Celtic defenders around him, he played a 1-2 with McDonough, and when he received the ball back, he coolly curled the ball past the helpless Paul Skinner. It was too little, too late for Dunfermline, with Celtic blowing them away in the first half. Celtic did receive an injury scare in the second half to midfielder Paul Callaghan when a reckless tackle left the Irish Youth International clutching his ankle and with the Youth Cup final only a couple of days away he is a major doubt for Thursday's final against Rangers at Hamden Park.